that's supposed to be the freedom right freedom right. lifestyle the freeing yourself from the shackles off you know the independence of being your own boss <laughs> i am shocked and i'm i'm just wondering you know <laughs> are people willing to do anything to get the fame get the money get the following well, is that where we got to it Hello and welcome to yet another episode of Habits of Influence, a podcast made by entrepreneurs for entrepreneurs, where we discuss the good, the bad and the ugly sides of entrepreneurship and building a movement. And with you every single week is me, Magdalena Hanna, and my lovely co-host. Me, Ian Manheimer. <laughs> what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, so hard, let me take a time. Okay, so today, my dearest, I wanted to spoil your mood a little bit because 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 we're going to be talking about a very 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 dark side of being an influencer and since dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun. <laughs> yeah i just found something really really disturbing something that i didn't know and something that really shocked me and i decided that i am not going to suffer in silence i mean like I, that actually made me laugh a little bit but at the same time i feel sorry for those people uh but i'm not going to suffer in silence i'm going to share with you and everybody else <laughs> because why would i know? yay yay yeah. right so um yeah this is for everybody like like okay jokes aside this is for everybody who you know sits there sometimes in envy looking at massive influences online uh, and just thinking to yourself you know i put so much work i put so much value and i know i've been guilty of that it's like i put so much effort and thought uh, deep thought into whatever i'm posting and whatever i'm putting out there and i'm not getting the results and uh there's just some well specifically women you know online because th this is a woman thing uh that are you know just just beautiful pretty and and rich and they do all of those trips and they've got like millions and millions upon millions of followers and they're not really either talented or doing anything special or, or doing anything at all <laughs> whilst we put so much work and they're getting so much better results um so uh, i just want to say you know before we even get into it uh, my conclusion is going to be for the whole topic is you know don't envy anybody of what they've got because you might not be willing to do what they do to achieve that thing and the reality is we shouldn't compare ourselves with anybody else anyway we're all at different spots and yeah yeah but even you know practically pragmatically pragmatically speaking it's some things you're just not going to do and you don't even have to you know feel bad about it because <laughs> oh my god go ahead enlighten us let's hear it Ugh. all right so um in his recent one of his recent episodes of his podcast logan paul a famous influencer on youtube has been interviewing someone who has inside takes of of the backside or technical side or, or the, the, the back door of influencership on Instagram specifically. So the story that had been discussed on the podcast was about his dear friend um, that has a very famous influencer for a fiance girlfriend. And that fiance, she kind of cracked and she spilled the beans. She spilled the tea. Uh, about the whole procedure of what happens behind closed doors when it comes to those millions of followers and that massive platforms, massive influencerships, the, the trips to Dubai uh, and all the wealth and the accolades that those Instagram models do have. And of course, you know, the first thing that comes, although I was shocked, you know, I think I'm super naive and I live under a rock or something or like to me, it was it, no, seriously. I mean, like you, you may suspect that, that it's kind of shady and it's got some, you know, S-E-X behind, the, the, behind it, you know, but I was genuinely shocked because I thought like, oh, they're just good at promoting themselves. They're just good at branding themselves. That's how naive I am. <sighs> And, you know, and the, it turns out that, you know, even OnlyFans is, is, is like, 
it's it's like something a teenager would do like it, I, what i'm trying to say is it's delicate in comparison to what is happening behind closed doors in order to achieve that 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 success the the you know the big success that i'm talking about uh, so yeah so the <laughs> This interview has sparked a series of kind of internet snoops that started to kind of get into the rabbit hole and try and search for information and try and search for clues and, and support uh, the thesis of what is going on and wanted to know. Uh, a lot of people wanted to know if, if that's true, if it's BS, if, if that is really happening. And they found some videos where an actual influencer instagram model instagram influencer is talking about what she is going to be doing uh and there is a platform that kind of connects the whole procedure uh and it's called tag the sponsor <laughs> and i'm going to put that video on right now so that you guys can all hear what i'm talking about uh my jaw was on the floor and i still cannot get over it but uh, hey ho um brace yourself for this instagram model revealing what is happening behind the millions of followers and behind the money and then i'm going to tell you some horror stories that i also found out from this video later on Hi, my name is Aliana Lozada Gonzalez and I'm 20 years old, 26 years old. I'm willing to come to Dubai to Sultan Ali. In Dubai I will have a STD check and Mr. Ali too. After that we are having unprotected sex and I will let Mr. Ali lick the rumors of my feet. I will also um, fuck uh, his virgin brother who is 13 years old and I will let him uh, lick my p and fuck me Anna and Mr. Ali is paying me 50,000 US dollars for this um, and I will receive 25,000 US dollars two weeks before I come to Dubai this is my passport and thank you so much Mr. Ali for the invitation and I can't wait to finally meet you. Wow. Wow. Ian uh, thoughts? <laughs> Nothing surprises me. I must admit, I was a little bit surprised. I mean, I didn't know that it's like, you know, to that extent, but I, I would say that's like... Stop it. Get some help. Well, it's prostitution, isn't it? It's, it's like... Uh... Okay, is that the price? I mean, it, 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 it sounds like it. I mean, she was reading off her phone. So, I mean, I wonder, I don't know how much of her actual... If, if that's the lady, I don't know if there's the lady who was reading what she was saying or was she reading what the comments were? No, she was actually reading the what she, her contract is, her terms of oh. Oh, engagement, gotcha. yeah. I suppose. Gotcha. <laughs> terms of engagement, I suppose. Gotcha. Yeah, it, it's just what she agreed to, to get the money. She's actually stating price and everything. I mean, like, um, and now the first thought that I have in my head is like, is, is that, is that a normal procedure will i not look at a picture from dubai in the same way ever again <laughs> probably not <laughs> probably not and probably all of you as well <laughs> uh yeah so that, that that's that's my point of today's episode is um there are certain dark parts that most of us are not aware of the dark parts of the internet so if you're ever wondering uh sitting there and wondering uh, you know i wish it was so easy for me as it is for those people just know that um it is you know there's a transaction behind it there is hard work that needs to be done uh behind it um not necessarily the type of work that you would ever agree to um i am shocked and i'm i'm just wondering you know are people willing to do anything to get the fame, get the money, get the 
following well, is that where we got to is, well, is i mean it, it, i think it's been happening for years if you think about hollywood i mean movie stars that's come out all over time like young girls young boys the stuff they have to do to get in front of producers and directors and you know they're on set with these older people and they ask them to do stuff and I mean, it's but this was making, supposed to be the freedom, right? Freedom yeah. lifestyle, the freeing yourself from the shackles off, you know, the independence of being your own boss, <laughs> you know, just, well, I mean, I guess in that situation you are, you're being your own boss, you're accepting money to do what, what other people want you to do, but you're, you're creating that for yourself. You're not working for somebody. You're I, I mean, in, in, a, in a broad mindset. You're not going to work every day for a paycheck. You are doing things that apparently you are comfortable doing for a large sum of money so you are living an entrepreneurial in mind in, in a way an entrepreneurial mindset i don't know i don't think that has like i'm trying to to look at it from every single side i do get your point but i just don't see the entrepreneurship part and yeah that. There, there's no there's really no entrepreneur. i, I mean, mean this is the oldest job yeah. known to human <laughs> but, yeah i mean i guess i guess it's not really entrepreneurial but it's it is you are getting a large sum of money to do something and then you can do whatever you want right sure. i mean i'm just like i'm just you, thinking you fly you know, to buy for a week and become somebody's whatever and then you've got seventy thousand dollars so you said thirty five thousand for one thing thirty five thousand for another right so people work <laughs> you, a, a would lot, you go for it <laughs> a, lot, a lot of people work pretty hard for seventy thousand dollars yeah i you know? mean I, I I don't think that even if it was seventy million dollars. Well, yeah, there's a, there's a value piece there. Then certain people have different values and certain you know price tags, right? Like, it's, <laughs> oh so my god, I'm just people... like having chills. Like, well, even when you talk about so, it, it's like even when I think it, it's just ah oh, oh, disgusting. And, and well, it brings on a whole new topic that I don't really want to get into right now, but um, something that I'm very passionate against. Um, but know what the fame and the you know like i don't think no, it's worth no. it i don't think it's worth i don't think any money and i don't think any illusion because this is typically an illusion of freedom an illusion of a business an illusion of uh following and uh, what are you selling to get it exactly uh, you're actually putting yourself as the offering of it's like no, the only thing that comes to me, I'm not very religious, you know, I'm not religious at all, actually, but I, it kind of like a sacrifice to the devil, you know, when I think of all of those like cults and movements and stuff like that, it's like the Illuminati, or we don't know if they exist or not, so like speculation warning, but you know, it just like give me your soul and I will give you the money. It's just not worth it. Are we living in a culture that we are willing to sacrifice our values, ourselves, and our, our, the last piece of our dignity? just because of uh, some sort of in Instagram freaking fame and, and Instagram, well, like, come on. I'm not, I'm not even on Instagram, so I don't know. I can't, I can't say, but it's like, I, I don't know. So I guess some people do what they feel is right or what they feel like they need to do to get where they want to get and um, literally do what they need to do shocking truly shocking so today's episode uh older really 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 quick i i absolutely have nothing to add i i just wanted to raise awareness and i kind of wanted to you know my thought behind this episode was to um kind of give that glimmer of hope to people who are really putting the effort who are really you know spending time to make sure that uh, whatever it is they build online because this is specifically to all of you lovely um internet business owners uh people who are trying to uh, build a following online that not not everything shiny is gold <laughs> and that you know not that everything is not everything is as it appears either yeah uh and you know you're not doing it bad and uh, just the fact that it's taking you longer you know at least it's it's truthful at least it's honorable at least it's aligned with your values and i think that's what matters uh, like i said i don't know how many people are aware of this procedure that happens you know i was suspecting of you know fraud and and brand deals and kind of 
sexualization when advertising. I was not expecting a full full blown trafficking or procedure or you know I I I, I actually I am I'm I'm shocked. Like I said, I must be you know super you know last century type of person <laughs> i still find it quite quite you know uh, icky and disgusting and, and kind of something that should not take place um even for you know the large sums of money or or the following or whatever whatever other thing those people think that they have while sacrificing themselves anything to add no, I think I think I think I'm gonna stay quiet on this one because it it brings me to a whole other subject that I I don't really want to get into right now and it's a subject that I, I get really frustrated and angry with. So I'm gonna just I'm gonna zip my. And I really and did now that I really want to know your thoughts, and I'm sure the other people want to know your thoughts as well. Oh, just it's, don't it's go just, too far away from you, it. Come on. You you just brought up the whole you know the whole thing just puts me into the whole mindset of sex trafficking, and that's something that I really have a hard time with. You know, especially when it involves like kids or you know young people and. Um, I know where I'm at, it's, it's gotten pretty bad and, you know, they're grabbing people out of malls and you yeah, know, and people, I mean, they, that's a business as well. And that, that's the sad right. part. We are kind of well, revolving around the worst type of people and the worst type of methods, yeah. right? Yeah. So that's, that's why like, it's like, it just, it throws me into that whole mindset of what people pay for, what people are willing to pay for, what people sacrifice, and then the people who don't have a choice and they have to sacrifice. You know, because I've been part of certain organizations that rescue people who have been sex trafficked, and you just hear these freaking stories, and it just it makes you sick to your stomach. And, it's and here like, you have those women doing it on their own accord, by their own choice, happily, because of what? Uh, so it's, yeah, I, just, I started just going to that dark spot of, you know, the you know, especially the kids that get trafficked, and it just it threw me it threw me a bit. So I, you know. Mentally, I think I'm kind of tapped out right now. Now, here you have grown ass women, apparently the most beautiful women on the planet. But it will make you, I mean, I think that it will make you look at all those Instagram posts in a slightly different shade or a slightly different light from now on, doesn't it? Well, again, I'm not on Instagram. Um, you know, when my Facebook account was hacked, a few. Oh, yeah. Maybe, How is it? Did you, did you get your account back? No. No. Right. Nope. Okay. Well, at nope. least you you are avoiding the um. Yeah. So I'm not, I'm not on Instagram. Not on WhatsApp. Lost all my main Facebook stuff, so I created a new account. So. I think maybe that's for the better. That's for the better. Oh. All right. To everybody listening today, um, did you find it shocking? <laughs> did you know that this is the procedure that is happening? What do you think about sacrificing everything, including your own values? in order to get success, in order to get a following, in order to get noticed. Uh, is it worth it? Or is that a hush-hush secret that can just be hidden and then, like Ian said, the money can be used to a better cause? Uh, what are your thoughts about it? Drop them in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe and press that bell so that you never miss future, uh, even controversial things, like topics like that uh, in the future. If you are listening on the podcast, do share your thoughts with us uh, by writing an email to habitsofinfluence at gmail.com and guys, share it. Uh, share your favorite podcast platform with anyone who uh, might benefit from our talks, might benefit from our chats about business uh, and feel the support of the journey because it is a very peculiar journey and there's a lot of things that we might be thinking at the back of our heads and like we see in this example, um, not as not everything is as it seems so it's good to have somebody that understands you somebody that guides you somebody that holds your hand uh, and is walking with you on that journey so that you don't feel as alone or it doesn't feel as alone uh, guys uh, do i really appreciate everybody that's coming back everybody that is here new uh, i think that is going to conclude this short short episode this week uh, and we are not, we are going to see you next wednesday at 12 p.m est as usual all right guys all the best thank you so much ian um to the next one see, see everybody next week